but we're talking about building a company from scratch, from nothing. And so it's a good introduction because the first thing I wanted to talk about actually is my qualification to be on this stage because, um, where is Linda? Linda? Earlier this morning, earlier this afternoon, I got asked if I was 18. So I figured it'd be very worthwhile for me to spend some time telling you why I'm on this stage and why you're even listening to me. And it has nothing to do really with my business savvy. It certainly doesn't have anything to do with what I understand about in the investment world or capital structure. Certainly not my financial savvy, as you'll ask my wife. She handles the, com or the, the checkbook for the household. The reason why I'm up here is because of a skill that I learned among the many skills that you learned growing up as a country boy. I learned how to start a fire. Now, some of you are chuckling because as city slickers, you think it's easy to start a fire, right? You just start with gasoline. You just pour some gas on a stack of wood, and when 30 seconds later, when you've got nothing but a bunch of blackened wood that's cold as ice, you just pour more gas on it, and then you keep it going. But what I'm talking about is when I was a kid, I learned how to start a fire without any gasoline. The funny thing is, I've actually watched a lot of you city slickers start some campfires before, where you'll go through you know, all the lawnmower gas you've got in your garage and still wind up with nothing but a bunch of black logs, cold as ice. You can't get the fire going. I've seen people do this. They can't get the fire going. And really what it boils down to is if you don't know how to start a fire without gas, it's pretty difficult to get one going even if you have the gas. Take me, give me maybe a shred of newspaper and a match, and I'll start you a fire. Now, it might take me some time. I'm going to research the wood. I'm going to pick the right logs. I'm going to maybe modify the logs. I'm going to strip some bark. I may split a piece of wood. I may get the right twigs. I'm going to get twigs and sticks, everything all the way up from maybe some dried grass, dried leaves, some kindling. And I'm going to start small. In the very beginning, we'll talk about this. In the very beginning, that fire is not going to look anything impressive. You're going to wonder why I think it's going to turn into a fire. It's not going to look like what it will look like in the end. But give me time, and I'll start a fire. See, just having gasoline doesn't mean that you know how to start a fire. Just having the gas doesn't mean you know how to start a fire. On the other hand, take someone like me who can start a fire with nothing and just give me a tablespoon of gas. And then watch how much faster and how much bigger I can make that fire. What you need to know about the startup world, about starting new businesses, is that the game has changed. The environment has changed. Back in the late 90s, pre-dot-com bomb, any old idiot could pile up some wood, tell someone, oh, no, I think it'll burn, you got some gas, and they'll throw some gas on it and you can light it on fire. Gas is money. Gas is funds. Gas is investment. But what happened was, the first round of gas didn't work, so we'd just pour more gas on it. We could go get round B, round C, round D investment. Keep pouring money on it, keep pouring gas on it, keep pouring gas on it, and at the end of the day, what started to happen was these fires, one by one, went out. And a lot of people got burned, and a lot of fires went out, and a lot of gas was wasted. We're in the situation we're in today as an economy because a lot of people had their hands on a bunch of gas but didn't have a clue how to actually start a fire and keep it going. It could take decades sometimes, and it has for some corporations, but the gas runs out eventually. So I'm talking about starting a company unfunded. And right now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, when I start my company, I'm going to look for investors. I'm going to get funded. I don't need to listen to what Nick has to say. No, the game has changed. Because if you go out today and you say, I want some gas. I've got this pile of wood. I think it'll burn. You got some gas. They're going to say, show me that you know how to start a fire. Whether you want to get funded or you want to go unfunded completely, the bottom line is you need to know how to start a fire from nothing. Because the, the venture capital world is different. Round A investment, and let me drop the metaphor and stop talking about gas and wood. Round A investment is all but gone. Most VC, especially in this area that I know of, is round B or round C venture capital. What that means is get your coals burning first, and then I'll pour my gas on it a little bit. And then if you can keep it going after that, I'll pour a little bit more gas on it. Does that make sense? We're talking about round B and round C investors. If you want to start a business from scratch, if you want to go to, from bootstrap to blue chip, you need to know how to start a fire.